this morning we left the island of Chiloe, got on a ferry, and headed to mainland Chile. Now we got a little bit of a drive before we get to our next adventure. We skirted around the outskirts of an industrial city called Puerto Montt, and right now we are headed to an area called Puerto Varas, V A R A S, where we need some groceries and to run a few errands before we get into the fun stuff. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. We are in the area of volcanoes. And you guys know Kurt loves a great volcano hike. And so I don't know if you can see, but we've got at least one, two, three volcanoes out across this beautiful lake. And to be honest with you, today's my day off we're taking a little time to ourselves, but we haven't had any visibility because of the rain and clouds, which has been just fine, but we haven't seen all this stuff until just now. And so I wanted to share it with you in case <laughs> the clouds come back, but there's a little food court up here. So I'm gonna grab a little food. All right, here we go. Pretty nice food court. Pizza up front. Coffee and treats, I believe, is tutti. Sandwiches, salmon, ooh, that's where I got some food coming from. And then down here is a little vegetariano place, and I got some food coming from there. But I heard they have a nice statue, and a nice little mirador, if you will. You've got the volcanoes and the Andes Mountains on one side, and then you've got the city on the other, and you can see it is just a line to the lake for all the beautiful views. And of course, there's lots of boats on this lake. But anyway, just a place for us to rest and relax before we get crazy. We took maybe four days off in a little town in Chile called Puerto Varas. A little tourist town right on a lake and really close to a ski resort, but it's off season. So it wasn't crowded and it was peaceful and we caught up on some work that we needed to get done. Now we have left there this morning and uh, we have pulled off on the side of the road at an absolutely amazingly beautiful place. Now I know you can probably hear the sound of the water rushing by in in the background here because it's loud and don't worry i'm going to show you why in just a minute but if you'll see back here behind us the van's back there and if you followed the channel for a long time then you know that as a child i loved to climb on rocks especially on annual vacations to the lake tahoe area the big round boulders one of my favorite things to do and as i get older it gets harder and harder but with my new knee I can do some more climbing. And this is an old lady climbing paradise. So let me show you where we may spend the night and we're for sure gonna have lunch. I gotta put this camera away so I don't bust my butt. I think Kurt is headed down to join the rock climbing party. 
So one of the cool things about this river, first of all, water's coming from everywhere, cutting through this black sand and these black rocks. But the water has a blue tint, so what it does, it gives the water a charcoal slate blue. It's a pretty color. We've seen a lot of the turquoises, but I think this is the first time we've really seen this like charcoal blue. It's so pretty. This river right here and some other ones are great for kayaking and river rafting. And then this is a glacier melt river and it flows down into the lake and there are a lot of really cool rapids and colors of waters and beautiful boulders and just all kinds of really cool scenery around here and if you guys didn't know you're learning by now that snow loves to climb on the rocks a pleasure she's been deprived of for a lot of years because of her knee and now that that's replaced she's got the heart but to be honest with you, it was really, really, really cool to see her out here having fun, climbing around on, on the rocks. And I kind of feel like this is the first time she's kind of done that without like worrying all the time about either her knee or her heart. So that's always a great sign that she's progressing. And uh, what a little beautiful place. This is just a little stop up. We have big lands, there's a big volcano here, a Sorno that we plan on visiting. So we're gonna take you there next. But I hope you enjoyed this little spot. As we were getting ready to leave this amazing rapidy river, blue, gorgeous place, a group of people pulled up, started putting on fancy outfits and dragging musical instruments down. And not only that, a generator, power speakers the best we can guess is they're gonna shoot a music video <laughs> the stuff we see traveling in a van on the road and all of a sudden we found ourselves in the middle of what appears to be a live band right here on the beach now there's several people gathered around but this is an Instagram spot this is a family hangout spot so I don't know if we don't know if they're shooting a, a music video here first we thought maybe it was a wedding or something like that but we might be in for some live entertainment talk about being in the middle of it all gonna play for real. you don't think so no they didn't drag power down there for the keyboard or they don't have anything for his bass the music is for them to hear what the song is they're gonna they might sing and strum, but we won't hear it. I think it's a video. So you think they're gonna be just lip syncing? Yeah. Alright. Oh, they're lip syncing it. Yeah. shows to go yeah that, <laughs> that you never know what you're gonna get into yeah. you never know what a fun day it was a fun what day. a fun time the Sun actually came out it's trying to burn off some of these clouds which is good because we need visibility to see this volcano and to show you guys and that's where we're headed next so we'll see you guys there looks like we're gonna have a little drama today a little drama 
big question. Are we going to see this volcano or not? It certainly looks a lot sunnier and clearer. There are still some clouds, some low clouds, but from where we are right now, we do not see the volcano, so not sure if we're going to get a look or not. And we're actually looking right at it behind the clouds so we can't see up the top it's a nicely shaped volcano with snow on top and spoiler alert spoiler alert <laughs> snow is heading up there with us volcano Asorno ladies and gentlemen the climb has begun it is a pretty much conical volcano, so I'm except expecting a pretty steep climb up here. Uh, we can drive up a good bit. In fact, I believe we're going to be driving up at least close to where there's snow on the ground. Snow's ears just popped. Climbing. Mine did too. <laughs> As I was vlogging, we are climbing. All right, back in the Northern Hemisphere, it is spring. Spring has sprung, but down here in the Southern Hemisphere, it is fall. And we just passed a really pretty mirror door. We gotta go back down so we can stop out of there. We're definitely up to the area where we can start to see some old lava flows. And I don't know how long it's been, but this has got a lot of green moss and other short growth over it. But I definitely recognize these ridges where the lava has just pushed down. And guys, look, here we are, some switchbacks. Wow. Oh, and look at the beautiful view of the lake. And meanwhile, we have people just riding bikes down the side of the volcano. You guys can hear snow and you probably can see out the window we are we are up and in getting into the clouds all right snow just commented that it's a little bit eerie up here in the clouds and uh does kind of resemble the surface of the moon with all the lava rocks there are a lot of cars up here but there is no visibility we got to do a weather report see what it looks like up top but y'all probably freaked out a little bit when you heard Kurt tell you that I was gonna go up but what we didn't tell you is this is actually a ski resort and even in the summer and fall, they run the lift to take you way up on the volcano. Now, whether we go today or tomorrow depends on the weather report. We made it up to the ski resort, but there's no snow up here. And as we told you guys on the way in, it's fall here, so it's not winter. This volcano is not super, super duper high, which is one reason why snow is able to make it up here. Who wants to make a snowman? <laughs> Well, unfortunately, it doesn't look like the clouds are going to break today. So, we got the heater cranked up. It's probably going to get cold. We're going to hunker down here and hope the clouds clear and try again tomorrow. We'll see. Well, this is good news. From the van, we have had a little break in the clouds. And you can see this. there's a volcano over there. Of course, the big lake, it is, the sun is putting on a show back here behind us. Everybody's happy coming out for the view. Everybody's coming out. If you look up behind us, people are starting to go up on the chairlifts. It still looks a little cloudy up there. Holy cow, so I just stepped out. This is the volcano right here. And no more than 10 minutes ago, we could not even see it because of the clouds. And if you look over there, the sun is setting and I am like just stunned. So you can see the chairlift goes way on up there. And so that would be the spot. There's a hike that goes up a bit more that I might be interested in. 
So we'll see. Hopefully we have these views tomorrow. Wow. The chair lifts are already closed. So tonight is not an option. But look at that, guys. Beautiful. Vol Volcano Osorno. And then also we have over here, over the lake, a beautiful sunset coming down. And right now the sun is just now starting to drop below the clouds. So we've seen a beautiful sort of reflection off the lake for a while. But now the sun is starting to change the sky different colors. And we're fortunate because we have this stunning view over the lake. <laughs> Can you believe that? Look at that. It is incredible. And you all aren't going to believe this, but we can just now see a little piece of the volcano. And that's how quickly it changes the visibility up here. But the sun's just kind of gone down. There's still the glow. But I got out here and saw the volcano totally exposed. It was beautiful. Snow and I did a tag team. We got the drone ready, got it up. And I think if everything went well, you guys are getting some really epic footage, not just of this amazing volcano, but this amazing sunset. And I'll tell you what, it turned red up here and along the lava flow, you can definitely see where there's some red highlights and some red dunes and it just lit the volcano up and the sky up and I was able to get the drone above the clouds so you can actually see uh, as I drop down the change in color through the clouds and below the clouds and see the sunset but uh, really really amazing footage I think I hope <laughs> beautiful views I can tell you that but the temperature is dropping so fast I'm literally shivering and so I gotta hop in the van we got the heater cranked up and uh, we'll see you in the morning hopefully we can go up there on these lifts and get some good views good morning everyone this is one of the rewards of living in a van and in overnighting in a spot like this look at these gorgeous views Volcano Osorno here at the bottom of the ski resort. Obviously, there's no snow up here. There is snow up there and Earlier in the week it snowed up here. It looks like most of it has melted off but for more more of the glacial ice and Then one of the cool things is you can see the low-hanging clouds So right above the ground down there if we were driving down there, it'd be foggy and it just makes for a mystical, beautiful look. But anyway, being out here for a sunshine like this, and there's sort of weird, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, but like a, a line or striation coming through the clouds, I guess created by the sun or something. The atmosphere, I've never seen anything like that. Good morning. It was a cold one. But our heater kept us cozy in the van, and we have woke up to blue bird skies. How about that for luck, Kurt? Yeah, live band yesterday, <laughs> shooting a music video, and a live volcano today. <laughs> loving it. Let's go get our tickets to get on this ski lift. To show y'all how cold it got last night, that is ice frost on the steps up here <sighs> all right to get to the top or as far up as you can go on this volcano there's actually two lifts yes and they told me that at 11 and 30 it will be open but you can buy the ticket for the full train and in that case uh, you have to go to take the chairlift and and when you arrive in this part you can go to walk and wait a uh, a little bit until this one is open. Okay. okay. Uh, it's okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So two tickets, right? Yes, please. Okay. We are about to head up. We are on the first ski lift of two. Now we'll get off up here midway somewhere up on this volcano. And there's supposed to be a pretty interesting little hike we can do. And then after that, we will take the second ski lift up as far as it will take us. And depending on what we see up there, 
Kurt may try to walk up to this crater. There's a glacier up there. Yeah, we're gonna see. But it is stunningly beautiful. We have bluebird skies, not one cloud around this volcano. Couldn't be any luckier. No Kurt, what did it cost machine. for us to take this ski, both ski lifts up? It was $30, $30 a person, so a little bit expensive, but... Yeah. But I get to get up on a volcano, so it's a big, big price tag for something really special. We are at what I am going to call level one. <laughs> and this is where we're supposed to be able to take a short hike to a place called the Red Crater. Now, once again, we don't know if I'll make it or not. I'm going to try, but there is no doubt Kurt will get you there. <laughs> this is the moment of truth. We're up here at the first lift station and the hike over to the Red Crater goes up that little hill right there. Now we're told it's a 40 minute round trip. We don't know how far exactly, but that's a pretty steep climb for snow. So we'll see what her decision is. I think she's gonna take it slowly and see how she feels. But I'd love for her to see the Red Crater, but none of us wanted to push it too far. Oh, we'll see what happens over there. We're gonna go try. I may make it halfway up that and then just stop and wait on her. <laughs> <laughs> the ground is like a pumice stone, almost like a thick volcanic ash or whatever spewed out of this volcano. So it's really kind of smooth surface all over. Here's the mushy, soft, gritty sand he was telling you about. Makes a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Here she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Nice. All right, we can see the red crater right there. I think that hill got the best of snow, so this is probably going to be, ah, it's not too far. It's only just down a little hill, but this little bit I'll do by myself. All right, so kind of a cool little hike here. You can see the rim there, so I'll go up around that, drop down into this red crater. As I've come around the corner and wrapped around this trail, you can see that big cut where all of that mountain, that volcano, just eroded away. And all this little pumice sand, pumice sand, just made its way down into the valley and down in the rivers down there. You can actually see where over time all the eruptions just move the mountain down the hill. It's really cool. And here you can see a sheer drop. And you can see the top crust where this lava just pushed out and then finally gave away probably to wind and other erosion. Stuff like this always looks smaller from afar than it does when you get up close. But we've got a good view of him from right here. And then he'll come back up, we'll head back, and we'll do the second ski lift part all the way as far as we can go up on that. Pretty cool day, but the clouds are rolling in, which makes it look kind of cool because they're not thick yet and we can still see through them. Well, you'll actually see this crater's a little bigger than it looked. We just gotta shimmy up this. Again, look at the lava. And there's snow up there just to give you an idea of how small and big things get. But look at this. Should we go down into this crater? All right, we can see snow waving up there at the top, but we're actually quite a ways away here in the crater. And as I'm in this crater and look around, and I am literally, guys, standing in the bottom of where this crater erupted and i'm just thinking of all the force all the heat that came out of this and if you look closely at this rock right here it even has a smooth surface like it was just pushed up out of the ground and like play-doh and you can see how smooth it is so clearly it pushed up against another strong rock shot out of the ground and all this lava rock around here just blasted out there's always something magical about watching these volcanoes 
And it's just hard to conceptualize the force that these things generate. All right, so we have met back up with Kurt and it's time to go down and up another steep spot to get back to the ski left. Kurt's probably breathing hard. <laughs> he ran around that crater and up that hill. But uh, let's continue the adventure. Woohoo, she made it. I didn't die. <laughs> I know that's not a funny joke, but it's how we live now. I actually felt good to do that, guys. It felt good. It was tough, but it felt good. And now we are on the second ski lift heading farther up. And look at that. Oh, we might make it to Earth. Kurt probably will definitely make it to some snow, but yeah. I might make it to some snow. Look at the little snow patches. We made it to the top. I think we just got to take a minute and show you guys how pretty this place is. I'm going to try to walk up a little bit. We'll see how it goes. We made it to snow. <laughs> there it is. A Chilean snowball. <laughs> There is another climb up here, but it gets us up and close and personal with some epic views of this glacier. Now, I'm not going to downplay any of the views we've had up till now, but the snow's already had a bunch of tough climbing. So, we're going to take our time, little by little, see how far we can make it. If you guys ever doubt the seriousness, the steepness, the amazing beauty of these Andes Mountains, look no further. Look at that. Ooh. Now, I might need to sit down on my butt and slide down this volcano. Oh, but that's, it's time to go to the bottom. That's something we'd all love to see. <laughs> you might. Stick around. <laughs> Oh guys, look, we're about to head out and there's some Kara Kara's here in the parking lot. If 
you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys!